So this came out of a conversation effectively with the president of Paraguay at that stage. And they were complaining because, and we tried um, to find oil and gas, and we didn't in Paraguay. And he's complaining that, well, Brazil's got oil and gas and, and Argentina's got oil and gas just across the border. We are, we don't have anything. Likewise, Bolivia on their border as well. And I actually said, well, what you've got is you've got a golden ticket. And that golden ticket is the surplus power, which you've got half of um, Itaipu Dam, but you're selling the surplus power because you're only a small nation, the size of, over the size of Germany, a small nation, you're selling it back to Brazil. And it came about from that conversation. And so from that conversation, we developed what's called a PPA, Power Purchase Agreement, which basically was low cost, green, totally green hydropower. And then the next stage was, okay, we want to make hydrogen, but we recognized the hydrogen is a bubble, effectively. Anybody who says we're going to make hydrogen per se or hydrogen cars, that's a bubble. That, there's no market. And at the end of the day, they want to be heroes, but there's no market for it. So where's the market? Well, the market is staring one in the face. It's agriculture. And what we can do with that hydrogen is mix it with the air, which Olivier will tell you, making ammonia, NH3, and from NH3, uh, include into limestone, which is amply sourced locally, and make it into a product, an agricultural product, a green fertilizer. The market is absolutely there. Brazil is the largest importer of fertilizer in the world, imports it from China and Russia. 